Spring! Call in Spring! Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not part of this. <laughs> oh. The fuck are you doing, bro? Come to my show and pour water on me? Tonight, coming to the stage is the host of the Comedians of Wrestling podcast. The one, the only, Dan Black. Nice. I like that. Love that. Thanks for coming out. I love professional wrestling. I fucking love it. I love professional wrestling so much. I wish I was a professional wrestler. I do. It's better than being a professional comedian. It's like, as a comedian, I come out here, you guys clap for like six seconds and demand I be funny right away. <laughs> if I was a professional wrestler, you guys would still be in a state of amazement right now. <laughs> okay, and I would be half naked showing off my perfect physique. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't even be talking yet. I'd have my own custom intro music by some garbage alt-rock band <laughs> called like Lizard Breath. And it would open up with some kind of weird rhetorical question, you know, like, you think you know me. <laughs> right? They're like, what's for breakfast? <laughs> I, wouldn't be I wouldn't be talking yet. I'd still be celebrating myself around this place. I'd come out here, I'd be giving high fives. What up, man? What is up? Give high fives to everybody. You know, I'd give away an article of my clothing, and you'd want it. Come like, here, take that. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, thanks, man. This is untuck it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, I, I'm poor, man. I need that back. Thank you. Okay, I'm not Bret Hart giving away my glasses, okay? For me, two months paycheck right there on the ground. I love professional wrestling. One thing about professional wrestling is when professional wrestlers get the microphone and they're, uh, they're gonna say something, right? Wrestling is like never about what you're watching. You're, you know, you're always like, what am I watching? They get the microphone and they say something like this, like, hey. Okay, so last week I was challenged to a match and I'm here this week to tell you that that match will happen next week. <laughs> What, what am I watching? <laughs> right? All of a sudden the bad guy's music hits, right? And he's like designed to be purposely like slow to get to the ring, right? His name is something like The Slug. <laughs> okay? Guy takes 20 minutes to get in the ring. Finally he gets in the ring. He's facing off with the good guy. They stare at each other for another 10 minutes. Finally, the bad guy's gonna say something. And he says, I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this thing? But I love it. I love it so much. I love it, man. Oh my God, I love it. And to me, professional wrestling, it's like one of the highest forms of art and it's so disrespected, right? The Emmy nominee, yeah, thank you, disrespected. 
disrespect it as an art form. The Emmy nominations came out. No Emmys for the longest running, highest rated show on television. None of that's good enough. The Oscars come out. Wrestlers are in movies. Give them an Oscar. No, because we're obsessed with our method actors like Daniel Day-Lewis. We love Daniel Day-Lewis, right? And it's like, oh, did, did you hear that on the Phantom Thread you had to call him the Phantom Thread the whole time? <laughs> like, oh, excuse me, Phantom Thread, can I get you a, an Americano? Phantom Thread, would you like a LaCroix? Meanwhile, <laughs> Terry Bollea has been playing Hulk Hogan for 40 years straight. <laughs> That's the best character work of all time. Okay, you want to get into the complexities of that? All right. Hulk Hogan wore a bandana in federal court. <laughs> Beat that shit. Okay. When Hulk Hogan was on that trial for that Gawker case, right? They had to clarify when they were reading the transcript if they were talking about Terry Bollea's penis or Hulk Hogan's penis. That is the most complicated character work ever. Okay? Can you imagine if during that Cosby trial, they stopped and were like, all right, well, when you were giving these women pills, were you Bill or Dr. Cliff Huxtable, OBGYN? Disrespected. Glow got 10 Emmy nominations, right? Yeah. No one's mentioning the fact that that's a wrestling show. Yeah. Right? My wife, I'm married. That's a reveal. <laughs> yeah. Bravo, yeah. Bravo. That's right. My wife, she says to me, yeah, but Glow, that's not really about wrestling. Neither is wrestling. <laughs> okay? The top wrestler right now just flips cars in the parking lot. <laughs> Okay? As a matter of fact, the best thing you can do in professional wrestling is be good at something else. <laughs> JBL wasn't good until he became a day trader. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, wrestlers are in the movies, right? Yeah, I go see every movie with a professional wrestler in it. I'll watch the Marine Six. The <laughs> The Marine 48, I'll watch that. I'll see all movies with professional wrestlers in it. I will. My fan, I don't think there's any coincidence that the highest paid movie star is a professional wrestler, The Rock, okay? Yeah, The Rock is so good and so talented that he just plays The Rock in every single movie. He calls himself Dwayne, but like, come on. He's The Rock. Right? That last movie that came out could have been called The Rock Climbs a Building. <laughs> right? The one before that could have been just called like The Rock Plays a Board Game. <laughs> you know what I mean? They could just call that other movie The Rock is in Fast and the Furious now. <laughs> right, you're not, you're not doing anything. I mean, The Rock, I mean, the dude, he's not even covering up his tattoos in movies, right? This guy's playing the Tooth Fairy with a Samoan tribal down his arm. You know, I didn't know the Tooth Fairy respected Samoan culture so much. But that's apparently how it is. My favorite rock movie is called The Rundown. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of rundown marks in the house. My favorite thing about that movie is that in the movie The Rundown, The Rock gives a rock bottom during a bar fight. Okay? Can you imagine if he followed that up with a people's elbow? In a bar? Just like, oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna, I, gotta, I gotta knock his arm in. So, I'm so sorry, it's my move. <laughs> it's just like, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that joke? It doesn't matter if you like that joke. Hold on, let me sip. Let me get a sip. Yeah. 
took my wife to go see uh, took my wife to go uh, see Blockers opening night. Yeah. Absolutely, I had to fucking see John Cena, see what he's up to. Dude killed it. He killed it. I loved it. Uh, my uh, my wife had an interesting complaint with that movie. She was like, "He's just like he's he's too jacked to be a dad." <laughs> And I was like, first off, that's not how dads work, <laughs> okay? There are plenty of jacked up wrestlers with kids they never see. <laughs> All right? We've seen it a million times. Secondly, when did believability come into play here, right? Like, you guys remember that actor named Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> this guy was a 6'5", Austrian bodybuilder who could barely speak English, okay? And we let him play an undercover kindergarten teacher in America, okay? We let him play Danny DeVito's twin. We let him play pregnant. Oh man. Uh, John Cena, yeah, what, do you got, what, do you, what do you got to say? What, okay, good. That's good, that's good. This isn't Tony and Tina's wedding, all right? I know I, I seem like a guy named Tony married to a Tina. Okay. Uh, Cena was great in that movie Trainwreck. Yeah, you guys remember that? Yeah, that's uh, the movie uh, where he played a guy who uh, slept with one of Dolph's ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Again? Yeah. You guys like sports? Yeah. I fucking hate sports. <laughs> Absolutely hate sports. I'm a professional wrestling fan through and through, okay? Yeah. Sports, they don't have enough imagination for me. You know, like my friends are always like, no, dude, you dude, you got to check out real sports, man. You got to check out LeBron. <laughs> He's changing the game as we know it. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, how? By scoring a little bit more points than the previous best basketball player, right? Like, I'll watch LeBron when he takes his jersey off mid-game, reveals he's on the other team, scores on his own basket, takes a chair from the sideline, knocks out the referee, and he's got a snake around his neck for no fucking reason. Yeah. My friends are like, no, dude, did, did, did. You gotta join my fantasy league. I'm like, uh, I got fantasy covered. Okay? I'm headed to the Barclay Center to watch a Native American dance fight a barber. <laughs> People's big complaint in professional wrestling makes no sense to me. No sense. They're like, yeah, it's scripted. Like, you know who's going to win. It's like, okay. I knew who was going to win the NBA Finals last year. <laughs> right? It's going to be the Golden State Warriors or the Cleveland Cavaliers. You guys know who won the championship title at WrestleMania 31? Yeah, a guy not in the match. <laughs> that is the best shit I ever saw. Okay, could you imagine if at the US Open, Wayne Gretzky skates in for the win? <laughs> That's where us as Marks are operating. Join us up here. Man, you worked up. Like, I, I don't like it's about sports. Like, sports are about, like, actual strategy. <laughs> don't like that. Don't like that. I like that. If you ask an athlete, you'll be like, hey, uh, how are you going to win the, the, the game tonight? They'll be like, well, we're going to win because we have a strong offense and they have a weak defense. <laughs> right? If you ask a professional wrestler how they're going to win, they're going to be like, well, we're going to win because I'm wearing $600 lizard shoes, and that's the bottom line, if you smell! When I'm cooking, suck it! That's why we're gonna win. That's my strategy for the night. Yeah, they're, uh, they're covering, they're covering uh, professional wrestling on SportsCenter now. 
which I've heard. Uh, I don't have time for that, no. Yeah, wh- I'm like, what does Sports Center for wrestling look like? It's like, it's like, well, Durant scored 40 tonight. Aaron Judge shattered his wrist, and Stephanie McMahon's wedding didn't go as planned. <laughs> What? What? I don't know what that is like. <laughs> but like, I'm like, my dad is like a sports guy. So I'm like a huge disappointment as a son. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's gotta hurt. That's, yeah, I get it. Like, my dad is obsessed with the New York Yankees. And like, to put it in perspective, my dad loves the Yankees so much that he drives a Ford Edge because Derek Jeter was in the commercial. (laughs) Okay? Like, my dad loves the Yankees so much that for his birthday every year, we eat at the Hard Rock Cafe connected to Yankee Stadium. Right? And his birthday is in the (laughs) off-season. That thing's open. Yeah, thank you. My dad loves the Yankees so much that I think he would be honored to die of Lou Gehrig's disease. Okay? Now, to be fair, I would love if my tombstone said I died from a tombstone. (laughs) I'd love that. There is one athlete that I love. I love this guy. His name's Alexander Rodriguez. Hey, Rod. Yeah. And everybody hates this guy, okay? The thing with A-Rod is like, he made one mistake, which was playing baseball. He should have been a professional wrestler, okay? He's dating like a new famous blonde every week. He's taking steroids. In baseball, that's called cheating. In professional wrestling, that's called Ric Flair. (laughs) Okay, that's called being the man, literally. Woo! Woo! People just complain about professional wrestling is they're like, professional wrestling, yeah, yeah, uh, that's fake, right? Is anyone in here not a professional wrestling fan? Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wait. What's, What's your favorite show? (laughs) that's about as real as it gets let me tell you everything everything is fake okay and you want to know how I know okay because I was cast on an episode of Cake Boss, okay? That's a reality show about Italian bakers, okay? I'm not, I've never baked anything in my entire life, and I'm not Italian. I'm a Jew, okay? Do you know what they call a Jew posing as an Italian? A Jubroni. Yeah, no. Professional wrestling, people are like, oh, it's fake. My wife is like, it's fake, it's, it's, it's fake, it's fake. Meanwhile, her favorite television show is called Friends, okay? This is a show about a paleontologist with a pet monkey who gets to fuck Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> That's the fakest shit ever, okay? My wife's favorite movie is Titanic. Yeah, I just had to rewatch that recently. I mean, that's the, mon- un- that's the most unrealistic thing on the planet, okay? Billy Zane should get Kate Winslet in that movie. Okay, Billy Zane took Kate Winslet on a once in a lifetime adventure on the greatest boat in the history of time. And she banged some loser in the cargo bag. Okay? 
Billy Zane <laughs> bought Kate Winslet a necklace people are looking for almost a century later. Okay? And Leo took her on the most low-budget Fugazi flight simulation. <laughs> Somehow in this movie, Billy Zane is the bad guy for getting a little worked up. Okay? You get worked up too if some worthless asshole drew your girlfriend naked because you asked her to put on a dress to go to dinner on the fucking Titanic. That's fake. Yeah. Oof. My wife loves that show, Sex in the City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sex in the City is very heel for this table here. Yeah, I see Sex in the City has been working heel for you guys for about 30 years. Uh, my wife loves that show, Sex in the City. This is a show, hey, that's fake. This is a show where four women stay friends for a full year. <laughs> You know, like my wife, she doesn't like the wrestling. It's it's not look, it's not it's not a problem, but it's not not a problem either. You know what I mean? Like I don't think my professional wrestling love would cause us to get divorced, but I think if we got divorced, it'd come up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I think I can imagine my wife talking to her friends, just being like, you know, we just. We wanted different things. You know, we weren't compatible. And he spent $300 on an Ultimate Warrior lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling is not fake, okay? That's not the problem with wrestling. There is a problem with professional wrestling, but it's not that it's fake, okay? Kane just became the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, okay? The co-founder of WWE is in the presidential cabinet. The president of the United States of America is in the WWE Hall of Fame. The problem with professional wrestling is that it's too real. <laughs> okay? We are about two seconds away from the wrestler IRS running the IRS. <laughs> Imagine it, right? You can imagine Donald Trump appointing million dollar man as the secretary of the treasury. Like this guy, you know he's good with money. He's got a dollar sign on his lapel. <laughs> you see it, you know it, it's right there. <laughs> the Rock's talking about running for president. Listen, I wanna tell you right now, as a responsible voter, I wanna tell you that The Rock runs for president. I will absolutely vote for him, okay? Anyone in here, you tell me right now, anyone in here, if, if The Rock is on the ballot for the president, are you voting for him? Yes! Yeah, yes! yeah, yes! professional wrestling, yes! way too real. <laughs> That's why we gotta keep Dolph Ziggler on fucking Fox News. Although I'm not worried about this guy winning an election, he never wins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think a jobber can create jobs. <laughs> oh man, uh, Kane, so Kane won, he's gonna be a mayor. Like Kane is a, he is a mayor, I don't know. Yeah, right, like Kane was the big red machine, now he's part of the big red machine. How do you think he's gonna light the Christmas tree in his tap? They're gonna do like, <laughs> like this, right? Oh, Merry Christmas! Right? How do you think he's gonna light the menorah? Oh, there's no menorah in this town. Let's be real. Wherever King got elected, there's no menorah in that town. Oh my God. Uh, uh, but no, uh, on like a more serious note. Professional wrestling does inspire me. Pro wrestlers do inspire me, okay? Yeah, they do. For people who don't know, there's a wrestler. He's like 5'8", he's 5'9", something like that. Little guy, doesn't look like a wrestler at all. And like when 
The industry told him no. He said yes and won the heavyweight championship. David Arquette is an inspiration <laughs> to all of us. David Arquette inspires me every day. If David Arquette can win the flare belt, I can do anything. See, I worked you there. I worked you. I love getting worked. We live in this culture now, right, in professional wrestling where we're like, we're on the dirt sheets, right? We're all like trying to not get worked, right? Like, I wanna get worked. I still remember the first time I got worked. It's a movie called Sixth Sense. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah. I was like, Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. By God, Michael! <laughs> He's dead! He's broken in half! <laughs> you guys remember that movie, Usual Suspects, when it turned out the whole time Kevin Spacey was a pedophile? <laughs> you remember that? The whole movie, all the shooting and everything, he was a pedophile that whole time. You got worked again. <laughs> oh, man. My friends are like, yo, you like wrestling? That's gay. <laughs> like, yeah, man, that's gay. Now, first off, that's not a very progressive stance. Second off, yeah, it's all gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like gay stuff, okay? Okay, I'm the gayest straight dude on the planet. Professional wrestling is basically a male beauty pageant with just the swimsuit portion of the competition. <laughs> right, they say that a little talent, so like, hey, what's up, my name's Jake and I'm really good with snakes, world peace. <laughs> I love gimmicks, you know, like I love professional, like I'm obsessed with like gimmicks, but like now they're like, the gimmicks now are like confusing, you know? Like back in the day, it was Doink the Clown. He's a clown. <laughs> He was a clown, you got it. Now it's just like, he's got a regular guy's name. You figure it out. <laughs> What's Dolph Ziggler's gimmick? Shawn Michaels? <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, the wrestlers were based on all like typical male professions of the day. You know what I mean? You had like teachers, Garbage men, undertakers. <laughs> when I look at the wrestlers now, you know, and I think about my friends and the jobs they have, I don't think any of it would work for professional wrestling, you know? Like, I don't think you could have, coming out to the ring, fantastic freelance web designer, Tony. <laughs> or like George, the ravishing app developer, slash dog walker when he can't find work. <laughs> Got a tag team called Tech Support. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'm Dan Black. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Professional wrestling for us. Thank you. Hey, go. Go, go. Go. Go, come up here. Hey, don't bring our team out tonight. We have a good support. Don't bring us here. Yeah, man, Dolph's here. Even though this guy is 100% losing his title tomorrow night. He decided to come to our fucking show. Spoilers! Yeah, Spoilers. that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> oh!
fuck are you doing, bro? Come to my show and pour water on me? Yeah. <laughs> 